This is about June 10, 2000, when London's Millennium Bridge was opened to the public for the first time after its construction. People had eagerly awaited the completion of the construction of this iconic bridge for the past two years. So, when it was finally opened, everyone wanted to use it right away. The bridge was built solely for pedestrians to cross the River Thames in London. However, as soon as people started walking on it, the Millennium Bridge began to sway like a seesaw. Authorities were alarmed by this development. For the first two days, the police prevented people from crossing the bridge. But two days later, it was closed again for the next two years. After this incident, London's famous bridge became a topic of worldwide interest. All the engineers involved in its construction were perplexed about how such a sturdy bridge could sway just from people walking on it. The reason behind this was something engineers hadn't considered before. Back in 1831, nearly 192 years ago, British Army soldiers were marching in synchronized steps across the Broughton Suspension Bridge in Northern England. Due to the synchronization of their footfalls, the Broughton Suspension Bridge collapsed. After that day, the British Army issued instructions to their soldiers that they should not cross any bridge in step and in a parade formation. This practice continued not only in the British Army, but also around the world for many years. In fact, even today, it is followed in some places. So, these were soldiers whose synchronized footsteps brought down the Broughton Suspension Bridge. However, when we examine the footage of London's Millennium Bridge, we notice something peculiar. The people walking on it aren't soldiers, but their footsteps seem incredibly synchronized. Why is this so? It so happened that when all these people started walking together here, their footsteps naturally synchronized with each other. The design of the Millennium Bridge was such that its cables were supported from the sides, not from above. A fundamental principle of structural engineering is not to match the resonance frequency of a footbridge with the frequency of human footsteps. When people sit on a swing and move their legs forward and backward in sync with the swing's frequency, the swing starts to swing faster on its own. Similarly, when people began walking together on the Millennium Bridge, their frequency matched that of the bridge, causing the bridge to start swaying slightly. Because the bridge's cables were attached to the sides, it resulted in lateral movement. Due to this lateral movement, people also began to walk in a side-to-side -side manner to balance themselves. Then, due to resonance, the lateral movement of the bridge increased rapidly. When this issue was diagnosed properly, engineers installed a total of 89 dampers on the Millennium Bridge. These included 37 to dissipate energy and 52 to control vertical movement. After completing their work, in February 2002, the Millennium Bridge underwent testing once again. The company arranged for more than 2,000 people to walk on the bridge. This test is considered the world's largest bridge test. After the test, as the product intended, a significant reduction in the bridge's movement was observed. Even today, synchronizing it remains a very challenging task. It's a natural phenomenon. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next amazing video.